for the young bucks that's, that's out here now that's, that's just, the world is not the same because they're out here not talking nice to, to the cops when the cops come around. And my mom took and dad taught me, you know, to, to give respect. And nowadays, to me, it just seems like there's no respect. It's true. You see, that's the reason why I'm in this gym. Because, I mean, everybody don't want to be a fighter. Everybody can't be a fighter. Right. Because it's a lot you got to go through. But for those that do, I feel like I'm helping them keep from running to the streets and having to deal with the folks and all that. And then at the same time, it's teaching them discipline. Because now that they're learning how to fight, they know how not to fight. Wow. You see what I'm trying to oh, say? Okay. See, it's a lot that we're trying to do. It's a lot we're trying to do. Because he... We're not learning how to fight just to go in the street and try to fight. We're learning how to fight to compete. Just to, for the sport of it. That's what we are. That's what's up. Man. Discipline is number one. Okay. Discipline. They got to go to school. They got to do good in school. If they ain't in school, they can't come in. Wow. See, we got, we got rules too. That's what's up. <laughs> so, let me give you a scenario. I'm young, I'm about 15, 14, but I, I've been out in the street, uh, selling on the street, getting in fights, in games. Mm -hmm. How would you, if I came to you, how would you come, come at me? If you came to me to, to, to fight, I would have to first break you down. Okay. What I mean when I say break you down, I'm gonna take you through the exercises. Okay. Every day. That, that probably would go on for a couple months. Wow. Because I know where you come from. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to instill discipline in you with the exercises. Because I know the exercise is gonna hurt you. But while you hurt, if you continue to do them, or if you humbly, you humbling yourself by being pushed and allowing yourself to be pushed, you're humbling yourself. So I would take you through that first. Okay. And if you last that, then I'm gonna make you a champion. Wow. But if you don't last that, it's because you never want to do it to start. You see what I'm saying? That's that's wow. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. See, people people don't realize, or if they do realize, they don't understand that boxing is more than than just getting in the ring. Boxing, boxing is is right. is like you said, discipline. And if you can learn that, you can you can learn any in, in, in every other thing. They say a 15 round, a 12 round fight is the same as a 27 mile marathon. What? And it is. That's why I tell my fighters, my fighters, my fighters every day. It's 90% physical, 10% mm -hmm. skill. Because I'm in shape. If you're in shape, I'm not. And I know a little bit. Once I get tired, however you fight, you're going to. Wow. That's right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're right. It's 90% physical. Wow. And so I'm... that's why we're there. That's wow. why I come in and push, and that's why I've been telling them all day. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. Because I'm more on the exercise. Wow. And it's, it, it shows in my shape. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you got it. I can't do it. You see the same. You got it. And, and another thing, um, the community. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel that the community is not together. Mm -hmm. But like with boxing, you, you have a fist. Mm -hmm. And each finger is an individual. We're like separated. Mm -hmm. 
But if we come together like that right. fierce, right. we'll be more. That's right. That's um, right. What's That's the word right. I'm looking for? United. It's, I mean, there you go. United. See, it's like we had a match down in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And this one guy was from Rock Hill, South Carolina. And he fought. When he fought, he fought one of our guys. Mm -hmm. But before he fought, it was like nobody was into this. Mm -hmm. But everybody that fought wasn't from me. But when that one guy fought, the whole state just instantly got full. What? So it's like their community support okay. what they're okay. doing. Okay. You see, and I feel like, see, we, we just really getting started. Uh -huh. We got an amateur team. Uh -huh. We got some stuff going. I feel like once our team grow, we start winning fights, I think the community is going to gonna, gonna follow us because they see that we're pulling people out the street and it's, it's successful. Right. Okay. What is something, if anything, that you would say to maybe encourage the community to at least see what's going on? What would I say? Yeah. I always say boxing ain't for everybody. Okay, okay. But if it's for you, uh -huh. and if it's for your kids, mm -hmm. then you need to bring them down here because once it get into you, mm -hmm. as far as working out in, in a, the competitive spot, mm -hmm. that child is going to want to stay here. Okay. So if that child want to stay here, that's one child mm -hmm. that we ain't got to worry about being out there. You see, so that's what I say to the community. You know, I say it for boxing because that's what I love, yeah. but any sport, really. Okay. If they into sports, mm -hmm. then you need to allow them to be in them sports. Sometimes it's expensive. It's worth paying. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth paying. Now, what about if, like, say, I, I um, know someone that I don't, that is not really a candidate for um, being a fighter, mm -hmm. but I just want them to be a around uh -huh. just to uh, come together and and see what you all have to you know to to, to make happen because it's a it's a positive thing right. and, and and I see that because I'm here and right. I just love it. I it's mean, a, it's a few guys in your band that when they first came, mm -hmm. they weren't trying to. Fight. Oh, you see, wow. they just came with folks. This a testimony. <laughs> yeah, they just come with somebody that's boxing. Boxing, yeah. Next yeah. thing you know, they here. Wow. See, it's like it's a buzz. Mm -hmm. Like, in, in, when you come in here and you see that you act that, that the folks are actually learning how to do it because uh, they know each other. Yeah, yeah. And they know that last year you didn't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, because they all kids. Mm -hmm. And they see that last year he didn't know how to do this, but today he knocking folks out. Wow. So it inspires other kids. Yeah. Because yeah. it make them feel like they gonna teach me too. Yeah. You see? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Now, if I'm, if I'm, around in, in a community at school, and I see these two knuckleheads that wanna act like they always have peace. How would you, if I brought them to you, how would you just get them to like, you know what I'm saying, look, y'all need to stop this. How would you react? I would, I would try to talk to them, and then me being me, I would try to swim here. Okay. Because if you fight each other, then you got it in your heart to fight. Yeah, so yeah. I would try to swim here. But then it would go right back to the same game, guys. I would take them through the exercise. Yeah, wow. Because that instills discipline. It does. It really it does. does. Because when you, when you tired and you got somebody 10 more, mm -hmm. you ain't got to do it. <laughs> yeah. You see, yeah. I mean, really, yeah. you don't have to do it. Yeah. But if you're pushing yourself to do it, you put discipline within yourself. Wow. And you're getting right. yourself helpful, too. Uh -huh. At the same, same time, time. you are still in a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff, and then like I said, we got rules in here. Mm -hmm. We gotta go to school. Mm -hmm. We can't take this out there. Mm -hmm. Cause if you do, then we don't want you in here. You see? So now, somebody like me, I'm a young man. I'm about forty. I'm forty years old. Mm -hmm. But you know, I have some issues with my body. Mm -hmm. I shake. I have cerebral palsy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What should I do if I love this to come around? Just to come around and, in here and, and, and to get myself better. It, we got different stuff, like you got the bikes over there. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. Um, you can't move around. Like I said, we got the bikes. 
you got to sit up there. We got different stuff for if you can move around. You see? Yeah. Because like you probably if you, if you got all that going on, you can't jump a rope. Uh -huh. But see then you can stand up that bag and do that drill. You remember when I showed them that yeah. drill? Get that drill. Uh, it's just different yeah. stuff. Because I, I like I say, I'm not trying to be an idol or anything, right. but I'm trying to stay healthy. Right. And I'm trying to get my legs. I feel like if I do something, it, it, will, it will get better for me. That's, that's true. That's true. Exercise is good for it, a whole lot of stuff. But see, then we have women that come here too. You know that. Uh -huh. Oh, uh yeah. -huh, yeah. We have women coming here and exercise with us. Yeah. We be in the ring exercise. Uh -huh. We be hard around it. Because the, cause the young lady that was that's here today, she's nice. She's, uh -huh. <laughs> she's uh -huh. really nice and good. Yeah. And uh -huh. I know it comes with discipline. It really and, does. And, and what? See, see, these guys here, they want it. Because it's the same guys every day. They want it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They want it. And when they first came here, they didn't know how to do it. Throw pocketbooks and purses. Swing up like that. But they want it. That's why they still keep coming back. It's I like a bug. It. I love it. Me too. I love yeah. it. I, I, I wish we had more people around here like this that 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 want to help the kids and not see them on the street and look at them. And, and, and you know what? I'm deep in the I do this from the bottom of my heart, and I'm from Martinsville, Virginia. I come here every day. And what? Everything. All because I love the sport, and I know what the sport can do for a young person. It can change their life. Even if they don't go out and, and make all that money, it'll just make them a better person. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It really yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man, for your time. And I mean, I, I, I've been... <laughs> I've been, ever since I came over here, I've been wanting to do this, but I see you working with the kids. So, thank you very much. I appreciate it.